Hello children, how are you all? I hope all are fine with a healthy shine. Today, let us learn English lesson, The Wonder Bowl. Before we begin, listen to this interesting story from the Mahabharata. This is about the Akshaya Patra. This incident took place when the Pandavas were in exile. That is, they were living in the forest outside their own country. When they were on the move in the forest, there was no surety of getting their daily food. So, Yudhishthira, the eldest of the Pandavas, prayed to Lord Surya for help. Now listen carefully. Pleased with Yudhishthira's prayers, Lord Surya gave him the Akshaya Patra. It would give them unlimited food till Draupadi finished a meal. Children, who gave the Akshaya Patra to Yudhishthira? Yes, Lord Surya gave them the Akshaya Patra. What was special about the Akshaya Patra? The speciality of Akshaya Patra was that it would give them unlimited food. But there was one condition. They would get food till Draupadi finished her meal. The Pandavas used this during their exile, the Vanavasa. It so happened, Durvasa, the great sage, and his disciples arrived at Yudhishthira's dwelling. Durvasa asked Yudhishthira to arrange food for him and his disciples, that is, pupils. There was no food to serve them since Draupadi had already finished her meal. You know, children, Durvasa was a great sage, sannyasi, but he was known for his quick temper. When he was angry, he would even give them a curse. So, the Pandavas became anxious and mentally worried about how to provide them food. The sage and his disciples who were bathing in the river would return for food soon. Then, Draupadi prayed to Lord Krishna for help. Krishna immediately appeared and asked Draupadi to bring the Akshaya Patra. On looking closely at the bowl, Krishna found a single grain of rice and he ate it. He was satisfied with the meal. And lo and behold, his satisfaction in turn made Durvasa and all his disciples feel so fully fed that they never came back to Yudhishthira's house for meal. This is how their problem was solved. Let us now proceed to the lesson, The Wonder Bowl. Before the explanation, let us learn the meanings of new words. Mond means raised ground on a hill. The old couple, Philemon and Bosses, lived in a hut on a mound. Hooted, shouted. The village boys hooted at the strangers. Ill-treat, show discourtesy. The boys ill-treated the poor strangers. They behaved badly with them. Ragged, dressed in torn clothes. Philemon went down to meet the ragged means poorly dressed newcomers. Hospitality Friendly reception of guests. The strangers were pleased with their hospitality. Let us begin our lesson now. Please open page number 75 and pay attention when I read and explain. The Wonder Bowl The old couple, Philemon and Bosses, lived in a hut on a mound. They worked hard in their farm and were only able to get as much food as they needed. Yet, 
they were so kind that they would never let any stranger who came to their doors go without food they welcomed the guest with joy and shared their own meal with him philemon and bosses lived in a hut on a hill they worked hard to get their daily necessities but they were kind to any stranger and shared their own meal with him one evening they finished their supper and sat at the door suddenly they heard the barking of dogs and shouting of boys in the village soon the noise grew louder philemon saw two strangers at home the village boys hooted and the dogs barked philemon said to his wife look at these boys they ill treat the poor strangers i shall go and bring them you go and see if there is any food to give them one evening they finished their supper that is the night meal they heard the barking of dogs and hooting that is shouting of boys in the village philemon saw two strangers being ill treated by the boys so he decided to bring them to his hut and asked bosses to find if there is any food to give them philemon went down to meet the ragged newcomers he drew back the dogs and said welcome strangers he took them into his poor cottage and made them sit at the table they looked very tired philemon went down and met the ragged strangers ragged is to be dressed in torn clothes he took them to his cottage and made them sit at the table bosses placed a small bowl of milk on the table and said this is all that i have for you sirs how i wish you had come a little earlier we would have shared our supper with you don't worry good lady said one of the guests all will be well your kindness makes this drink a feast to us we are pleased with your hospitality bosses had a small bowl of milk which he served them and said if they had come earlier they would have shared their meal with them but one of the guests said not to worry because their kindness makes the drink a feast to them and he said they were very pleased with their hospitality hope you all understood this part of the lesson dear children let me now check your understanding here is an activity for you you have to select the correct answer from the given options where did philemon and bosses live the options are apartment house hut the correct option is hut second one how did they feel when they welcomed their guests joyful angry careless the correct option is joyful third how did the villagers treat their strangers hospitable charitable ill treated the correct answer is ill treated fourth this is a famous story of which country india germany greece the correct answer is greece who were the strangers friends relatives angels yes they were angels or gods messengers our next activity is to write the opposites listen now bosses earlier had poured out all the milk later one of the strangers asked for more the word 
earlier is the opposite of later. For example, plastic is light but iron is heavy. Light is opposite of heavy. Now take first one from the book. This chair is comfortable but the other one is uncomfortable. The opposite of comfortable is uncomfortable. Second, you are late today. Please come early to school. Opposite of late is early. Some buses are ordinary and some buses are extraordinary. Ordinary is the opposite word to extraordinary. My sister is happy but my brother is sad. Happy is opposite of sad. Language work. Read the following story. Seeing the neighbor's finely finished mansion, the man ran out of his palatial house to bring two visitors. He met two ragged beggars and gingerly walked towards them. But before he reached them, he saw a neatly dressed couple and forcefully brought them home. They angrily told him that they were on the way to attend a funeral. The underlined words here are adverbs and adjectives. The word finally describes the work of finishing the mansion. So, it is an adverb. The word ragged describes the man's dress. So, it is an adjective. Now, complete the following sentences with the suitable forms of the words in brackets. Example, Pradeep's father Dash called him Deepu. The answer is Pradeep's father affectionately called him Deepu. First one, the audience laughed loudly at the joke. Second, his foot was injured, yet he played bravely. Third, I have done well in the exam, so I will pass. Fourth, a tortoise moves very slowly. Fifth, can you spell the word Q correctly? Sixth, it rained heavily, so I postponed my trip. Seventh, the baby is sleeping. Please speak softly. Eighth, he looked at me angrily when I laughed at him. Ninth, the soldiers fought courageously and won the battle. Tenth, we had to walk fast to get to school on time. Dear children, now we have completed the first part of the lesson, the wonder bow. The rest of the lesson will be completed in the second part. Here is the homework for you. Learn and write the meanings of difficult words. And write copywriting daily. So, bye for now. Be healthy. Be safe. Remember always to wear your mask and do your task.